Hey YouTube, in this video I will cover how to create a free Minecraft server on which you can play with friends from anywhere in the world. It is a fairly quick process and will get you in your own Minecraft world with friends in no time. First, we need to download the Minecraft server software from the official Minecraft website. The download is free and is exclusively for Java Edition, so make sure that that is what you're using. Then click this link to download it, and you should see it go right here. And if there's a warning here, if Google Chrome thinks the file is malicious, make sure you click Keep, because it's safe and it's from the official Minecraft website. Now on your desktop, you're going to want to create a new folder, and I'll just call this Minecraft Server, and place the server.jar file in your Minecraft Server folder. Alright, once we have this file in this folder, we're going to want to create a new text document, and you can just really name it whatever. And in this text document, you're going to want to paste the following command that was on the, the Minecraft download website. And you're going to want to change this text right here to match the name of your jar file. So in my case, that's just server.jar. Alright, and then after this, I've often found that it helps to just write pause there. And that, that helps prevent errors that may occur. Alright, now we're going to go here, file, save as. Go down here to all files, and we're going to want to call this start.bat. Bat standing for batch. And then you can click save. And then we can just delete this guy. And if everything is set up correctly, then when you double click on this, it should run this file over here and you can see it just created a whole bunch of other files. Now if this didn't work for you, it's most likely because you have an outdated version of Java. And since the server uses Java to host, we're going to need to make sure that it's completely up to date. To do that, you're going to want to go down here where it says type to search and search for Java or configure Java and open this panel and in the update tab up here you can say update now and go through all the steps to update. If you don't have Java at all then you may need to go to the official Oracle website and download it there. Now once you get it working the file that we're looking for is eula.txt which stands for end user license agreement and we're going to want to double click on that and go in here and if you agree to Minecraft's terms of service right here then right after it says ULA equals false, we're going to change this false to true to tell them that we agree with it. And we can just save that and close out of it. Now we need to set up some basic server configurations. To do this, we have to open up the server.properties file. But if you can't seem to open it, then go down here to more apps and scroll until you find notepad or wordpad or whatever text editor you use and just say OK. And now in all these settings, you can change pretty much whatever Minecraft settings that you want and they will be applied to your server. For example, here you can change the game mode, here you can change the seed, here is the view distance, and they're pretty much self-explanatory. Once you have the settings you want, you can go to File and Save to save your edits and then you can just close out of it. And to save your updates and begin running the server, you can now double click on the batch file you made earlier. And now you can see it's said Done. So it has loaded up the entire world and it is ready to be played in. Now we can load into Minecraft and I'm currently on version 1.19.4 but this will really work in all versions of Minecraft as long as you're hosting your server on the same version that your friends are joining the world in. So to test it out on your own computer, you can go into Minecraft into the multiplayer tab and then click on direct connection. And here you can just put in localhost to let it know that you're just connecting to yourself and click join server. And as you can see, I'm in this world over here and in this feed, you can see Isle of Veggies join the game. Now we need to make the server accessible to people around the world. To do that, we need to configure our router to allow incoming connections to the server. To find your router's configuration page, go down here and type cmd. And once your command prompt opens up, here you can type in ipconfig. And you're going to want to find your default gateway. And you're not looking for this number here with a bunch of letters and numbers, but you're looking for this simple one right here. So in my case, it's 192.168.14.1, and yours may be pretty similar. So I'm just going to copy this number and paste that into my search browser. And here you can see I'm using the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So once you've found out your router information, you can go to portforward.com, and here you can find a step-by-step -step process on how to port forward on just about any router that exists. Now keep in mind that whenever we're port forwarding our Minecraft server, we always want to use port 25565 on both the inbound and outbound port. So whenever you're port forwarding and you see the option to specify a port, make sure you always say 25565. To find your router, go up here to routers and then click on list of routers. And here you have a crazy big list of all these routers. So let's say I had a Netgear router. So I can do Control F or Command F and search Netgear in the top. 
here we can see Netgear. So I'll click on this, just close out of this ad. Now there's all these different types of Netgear routers. So let's say I had this AC1600 router. And even if I didn't have this exact version number on my router, it would probably be a very similar process. Now, of course, this is just an example because I'm using the Nest Home router system, which only allows you to make changes on the app. But most routers will allow you to do this just from your web browser. So with this router, for example, you would go up here and it tells you the default gateway already. So you wouldn't have to go and look it up on your own. So in this case, it would be 192.168.0.1. And then you could log in here with the default default uh, username and password, um, and if you change them, then either go and check your router and see if the changed credentials are on the router, or if you have a password list, or if you need to ask your parents, whatever you need to do to obtain this information. And then it, it'll bring you to the screen where you'll go to the advanced tab, and then under this advanced tab you can go to port forwarding slash port triggering on the left, and here you can select all the settings you need to port forward. And when you're port forwarding for the Minecraft server, you're usually going to want to use the TCP slash UDP option. So if it gives you an option for TCP or UDP, make sure you do TCP slash UDP. Here it gives you the default ports for Xbox Live, but in our case we're using the default ports for Minecraft which again is 25565. So make sure you use that for both the starting port and the ending port. And then obviously when you're done, you gotta click apply or save or whatever it looks like for your router. Now once you've port forwarded on port 25565, you can go find out your public IP address and you can do this by just searching what is my public IP address and go to the first link. And it should be the number next to IPv4, which in my case is blurred out for security reasons. Now make sure you're only giving this number out to people who you trust, because with this number, someone malicious could find exactly where you live or do other harmful things to your network. Now once you have your public IP address on your friend's computer, tell them to go to multiplayer, then direct connection, and then put in your public IP address. This allows your friend to connect to your Minecraft server from anywhere in the world. Once again, mine is blurred for security reasons. Then click join server, and as you can see, I'm now in the very same Minecraft world. Now, if your friend puts your public IP address in this server address bar and clicks join server, and they end up with like a connection timed out or a connection refused error, oftentimes the error can just be fixed by allowing Java through the public firewall. To do this, you can go to allow an app through Windows firewall. Click here where it says change settings. And this is on the host computer, so whoever's hosting the Minecraft server should be doing this. Go down here where it says, where it shows all these Java SE binaries. And yours might look kind of different, but you should check these boxes for allowing it through the public firewall. And this ensures that it's not the firewall blocking the connection. But be careful as they could provide a security hazard. Also, quick note, if the server is very laggy and your computer isn't great at hosting the server, in here, you can reduce the view distance by changing this number right here. So right now for me, it's at 10. If I wanted a five, I can just put five there, go to file, save and now the game will hopefully run twice as smoothly just a quick note since you're hosting this minecraft game on your computer whenever you shut down the script that's running the server or turn your computer off in any way then none of your friends will be able to access the minecraft world so you have to make sure to either leave it running or all of your friends play together at the same time if you're looking for another free option one where you don't have to keep the server running forever and using a bandwidth or have to worry about your friends not being able to play on the server then you can check out Eternos, which has minecraft servers completely free and it's a pretty easy setup process and you can have any of your friends join it from around the world. The only downside is you won't have that much RAM or speed, but maybe that's not necessary for what you're trying to do. So if you're looking for another free alternative, you can go ahead and check this out. So that's it for this tutorial on how to create a Minecraft server and host it on your local computer for free. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're now ready to play Minecraft with your friends from around the world. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if it worked for you.